Hey guys, um, I'm pretty new to Monogame, so I thought I would um, run through one of these XNA tutorials and see if I could do a multi-platform project in Monogame, um, except I'll follow the XNA tutorial to make one of these geometry walls clones, so this is it. Pretty crazy. <laughs> Um, but after I discovered that I could write Xbox games, um, I got pretty excited. So uh, I want to learn how to use Monogame better. So I'm going to start by making one of these following this tutorial. But I really wanted to take advantage of Monogame's ability to uh, very easily deploy on multiple platforms. So to get started, um, what I thought I'd do is show you how I'm going to try and set up this shared project. So I could deploy it uh, for UWP, so for the Xbox, and uh, just on a regular Windows as well. So we'll start off by creating a new project for this thing. Uh, and instead of going straight into a mono game project, we'll click on just general C sharp projects. And I'm just going to start with the shared project, right? So this is where all, all the shared code is going to live. Uh, and we're going to call this project, uh, uh, sorry, yeah, ge geo shared is going to be the project name for the shared project and then the solution name for the entire project um, where all of the other sub projects for each platform is going to live, it's going to be called just geo so we get a okay now. There's our shared project ready to go. So the first additional project, first platform that we're going to look at is uh, the UWP stuff, so we'll go and add in that. So under Mono Game, uh, Universal Windows, and this will be called GeoWarm.UWP. So we we'll okay on that. We'll choose the right build. Right, and that's ready to go. So I'm just going to get rid of all these red squigglies because they they they're just not they just don't look good. So yeah, let's just build that. That's how you get rid of red squigglies in a UWP project. And that's built. And once that's built, all the errors are gone. Is what I like to see. Um, and next thing I want to do is that I'm going to move this game one class into the shared project because this is the one that basically every mono game project um, uses. So I put it into there and we we'll remove it out of the UWP project, right? Because it's going to get it from here. So what we'll do is then reference the geoWar.shared and it should get its game one class back. So. We just right click on the references, add reference, and under shared projects and within the solution, you should see your shared project in here. You set it all up correctly. Set OK on that. And if we have a look at the game page, you can see that it's able to pick up the game one class here. Now, before I keep, before I move on from here, uh, the tutorial does tell us to give game one a little bit more of a descriptive name. So I'm going to call this uh, game root instead of game one. So let's do that. And as soon as I hit enter on that, yep, Visual Studio will tell me that I'm renaming a class file and you want me to change all the game one references to game root. And that's very helpful. So I'm going to hit yes. And we have the look in here. In the actual game root class now, um, everything is uh, correctly reset from game one to game root. So we'll save that out. And if we look at this uh, game page uh, file as well, we can see those changes made to that as well. So the game one references are now game root. So that's good. And we'll save that as well. That. Okay, this is all well and good, very nicely set up now. The only issue that we've got here is this content pipeline, right? So I don't want to have to build content and set up for content for every different platform project that I have set up. So I also want to have this shared. Um, but And originally I wanted to be able to just create it in here. So if I just went in here, 
and go like so, so maybe I'll just I'll create the content folder and then I wanted to copy that into here so now there's a content file in here and remove this um, and then you would think that because it's referencing this it should work okay um, but I'll show you what happens if we go and put in a uh, build a, a, a font file or something so we'll just go to new item and font Build that and fine. Builds all good. Um, so now that's all built. So now what I would want to do in game root is uh, make use of that uh, content. So we'll go and create a sprite font. Sprite font, we'll just call it font. And then we're going to load it here. So we'll go font. It's content loads sprite font and it's called font and we go down here and actually draw it so sprite batch dot begin and sprite batch dot end and we finally we'll draw it sprite batch Draw string and we use the font content. Uh, traditional hello world and position. Uh, sorry, e. it's two objects. I'm just going to add 200 by 200. And color. And we'll just do it in black. Alright, now. Now that's all set up, right? So the reference is there. If we go build, see there's an error here. Actually, before that, we'll just stop this thing. We get this warning here on build saying that, hey, there's like no build action with the reference. So what we need to do is set this to the uh, mono game build reference but you'll see that you can't do it you just can't there's no option there because th this this project hasn't got the uh, monogame framework reference so that's that's the error so I need to change that so if I put this back in oh, look at this. If I put this back in here I then have the option to set that to monogame content reference and uh, this issue is really frustrating uh, because the only way I could figure out how to get around this problem is to create another project, another modern game project, call it like geowar.content and then put all the content in there. Um, but if you know a better way for that I could set it up in just geowar.share, that would be very helpful if you could let me know. Um, but yeah, so this is the way I've figured out how to get around that this um, this content error, um, so I'll remove that. I've had to go and create a whole extra project, so add new projects and we'll use probably any of these. So I'm just going to use a Windows one. We're going to call it geowar.shared. Uh, sorry, not shared. Geowar.content. Now we've got a project with the monogame.framework. Uh, referenced inside of it. So we don't need any of this really. Uh, we'll keep that one and we'll just get it out of here. So we don't need it, don't need it in the shared anymore. And uh, we don't need any of these files, so we'll just remove all of them. And because this is just going to be for content, I'm just going to drag this out as well. I'm just put it, drag it out of the folder, put it in there. And this is going to be my content project now. So all of the other platforms are going to reference the content from that content file there. So what I'll do is in here, we'll go add existing item. And then under geoorder content, we've got that content.mgcb file. 
And before you click add, just click this drop down, and we're just going to add that as a link. So it's just linking to that file, it's not adding its own version of it. Um, and I'll just show you here as well. Now, if I go and add that font file again, so I go edit, add new item, I'll just call that font once again. Let's go OK. And let's build that. And that's built. That's all good. And we click on this. Uh, oh, we've got to set the build action for this guy to the right, to the, to the right uh, modern game content reference setting. So we'll set that. And we open this up now. We can see that the the font that sprite font content that we created there is now showing up in here. And our project should now be able to uh, should be able to to run with that now. So. Uh, as long as we've set our code up right, which I think we have. Okay, so hopefully we get a nice cornflower blue screen saying hello world in it now. So let's give that a build. And it's looking good. So yeah, that's the best way I've found to create a shared content project. Um, if you know a better way to be able to add it into the actual shared project, uh, that would be much tidier and would make me very happy. But anyway, let's keep moving on. Okay, so we've got the first platform set up already. We can shrink that down. Um, keep that open. Okay, and when the next, we're just going to add in. I'm just going to add in another platform just to show you how easy it is now to add in additional platforms. So if we right click on there and we'll add in just the regular Windows one once again. So we'll go to Windows, and we're gonna call this one GeoWar.Windows. Now we've got GeoWar.Windows. We don't need game one. And in fact, we're gonna to have to change a few things in this program uh, file here. So, uh, we have a look at it. It seems it still references game one here. Um, once we add the, oh, we don't need the content in here. Oh yeah, we do actually. We go, okay, so let's like link our content up. So we're gonna delete the old content file. Go add existing, and then under dual.content content. Uh, what is this? Okay, old files. Add as link. Okay, so let's have a look at that. And it's got the font. And because we removed the game one class, this has got an issue. So we have to add in our shared uh, project into here as well. So we'll go add reference and shared project solution to what I share. Add that in. And we've still got an error because this shouldn't this isn't called game one anymore, it's called game root. So I'm gonna change that. Game root. Okay, the namespace, oh, our namespaces need to be changed as well. So we're going to change that, hey. So this is under gwar.uwp, oh, that's why that works. So we're going to change that to gwar, save that, and this one. Change that to GeoWar as well. Alright, and now it can read game root. Okay, I think that's specific to Windows projects. So hopefully there's not too much uh, more dicking around with any other projects. Uh, I can probably try one, I'll see if we can add in Linux or something as well, just to make sure. Uh, but there might be a few things, maybe you have to change a few things to make things work. But uh, let's see if this builds. So we'll go to Windows. Start. Oh, right. Um, so the error we've got here is because we haven't got the um, we haven't set this up properly. So I forgot to set the build action on this guy to uh, my game content preference. Right. So let's try that again. And there you go, so that's the Windows project that's built now. And because I changed that namespace, I don't think there's going to be any errors here. Let's have a look at this. Um, yeah. 
Should be okay. Let's just double check the UWP project. Yeah, that's still good to go. They're all, they're all using the same um, content now as well. But yeah, as I said, let's just have a quick look at another project. Um, just to make sure there's not too much that you have to add every time you add a new project. So let's try a new project. Um, what should we do? Let's just say... Uh, I don't think I can do this. We can do like a cross-platform one maybe. Let's try that. Uh, OpenGL. So, GeoWar.GL. And we'll just go OK on that. And we'll add our reference. Add reference, the so GeoWar shared. Okay, I've never seen the structure of these before. So I'm going to delete that. Because now it's shared. And the content, we'll just delete that and we'll add in our shared content projects. GeoWall.content. Add it as a link. Okay, oh yeah, and the last thing we're going to do is set that to a uh, game content reference as a build action. And it doesn't look like I have any other errors. So let's see, let's build that. Make sure that runs as well. Oh, they are build errors, okay. Nameface game one can be found in missing directory assembly. Well, I'm just gonna have to change this. This program.cs seems to need a little bit of changing. So I'm gonna change that namespace as well, and now we should be able to access game root. Alright, I think that's good to go now, so let's take the start of that. Yeah, so the GL OpenGL project is now also ready to go. All right, so looks like there there were there are a few things that you need to take care of, especially as you change your uh, your game one class name, um, and also if they're in under different namespaces. Uh, but it's uh, it seems to be pretty easy, right? Just have a look at your error and, and just debug it. It's probably just going to be that program that see us. Um, so in every project, is, uh, they store a lot of file systems always slightly different. Still don't know where that. Still don't know where the, the um, program.cs file is. Looks like geo.program. Um, oh right, it's right there. <laughs> of course. So I should have checked that as soon as this came up. I just uh, overlooked that. But um, yeah. Uh, let us know how you go with your projects. Um, I will post progress videos as I work through the uh, uh, this XNA tutorial. Hopefully, I can end up with something like this again. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys.